today on Nebraska Woodster. We had a disaster. Could have been worse, but disaster nonetheless. If you have a wood boiler and or know anybody that has a wood boiler, you're going to want to share this. So look forward to sharing the experience that we had last evening. Welcome back, Woodsters. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are someone that's been here but and been following me, thank you and uh, welcome back. All right, today, not a whole lot of work going on today. What we are going to do is I'm gonna share a little bit of an experience that we had last night. Um, and yes, you heard me say it was a disaster. Um, and I'm gonna show you here real shortly. We got some footage of stuff last night as well. Um, that I'll be probably doing some voiceover because there might be a little or a lot of cussing going on uh, when everything was going down here. So a little bit of background. Uh, last night got home and was going to run down to the dump and got to the dump and there's about 7,000 cars in line. So decided to go down to uh, down to the local establishment to the pub and uh, have a cocktail before I dumped off the trash. Um, my wife was at work and she came home uh, I was about 6.30 and I think I got a call at about 6.31 um, and she was quite frantic. Um, lots of cussing on that video, on that phone call as well. So um, I busted home here and, and this is what I came home to. First she thought that I pulled a brain fart and just left the door on the wood boiler open. and uh, But that wasn't the case when she opened it up. She looked outside. And I'll show you some pictures before and after. So here's my wood trailer, ready to go in the wood boiler. You see that pile there? It was much bigger. And last night, as you'll see on some footage, it was a lot hotter last night as well. So besides uh, the fact that uh, my wife was trying to put this out while I was having a cocktail at the pub, you can about imagine how much humor she found in that. But this is what this is what the aftermath looks like. She got pretty hot. I was. Uh, this is the hoe that I use to um, pull out all the ashes from the bottom of that wood burner, and so you can see just melted her down. So here's kind of how the events went down. So when uh, when I got home, my wife was frantically trying to get the hose. Hooked up. As you can see, there's two hoses there. And she was failing miserably as uh, she was expecting the fire to move on to the, tra the wood trailer and then on to the shop and not sure if I was going to make it home from the pub. So... Um, we got that hooked up, started putting some water on it. I found out very quickly that a, one hose was not going to do it. So I, got it I came back out and I really emptied out the canister. Sorry about this wind, but I emptied out the canister on that, on that fire. That did absolutely nothing. From there, I think uh, the next event, and I'm trying to capture this. Get her phone out and take some video and take some pictures. The daughter that was in the house, take some pictures because this is going to be some good pictures. I'd love to see. Throughout this ordeal, it kept going through my mind and my wife's mind: should we call the call the fire department and and have them come up? A little worried about uh, the grass uh, catching on fire. Um, when she got home, she was really worried about this load of dry wood get catching fire. I was concerned about these tires right there and that whether or not they were going to gonna make it through as well. But we got two hoses on, uh, two hoses on it and about an hour later and a lot of rake work uh, getting all of that wood, the wood pile because the coals 
and everything was burning all the way down to the bottom. So we had to break this whole thing apart, put water back on it, um, get back to uh, putting, putting water on it and making sure everything was out. Had a couple of dead soldiers last night. This rake didn't make it. You can see right here. You can see right there, I think, the, the end of the rake. There was no way I was reaching in there and grabbing that. My biggest concern besides house, the shop, the trailer, was really on the back side of this wood burner. You can see here how close that fire was to the to all the pipes and all the electrical on the back side of this. Lucky enough that we didn't have to, uh, that it didn't melt all of that. Um, so really, really actually pretty lucky when it comes right down to it. Be one of those where I come back and say, my wife saved the day by getting me out of the bar and, and that worked. So you can kind of see how hot that fire got. If you look at the side of that wood boiler, Not sure if you could tell, but it's warped a little bit. That's how hot that fire was. I'm not sure how good my videos were uh, prior to this or the pictures of, of the wood pile prior to the fire, um, but I'll give you a look. Typically, uh, I have uh, enough wood here, somewhere around 20 to 25 pickup loads, uh, ready for the wood boiler to go into the season. And I'll show you the area I usually have covered. This year, I tried something a little bit different. Uh, and using the trailer and doing a little bit more hand to mouth. Most of my uh, wood is just uh, shed back here. Um, and so here's a little perspective on how high I had the wood and usually how I stack it. Typically I'll come in here and I just stack it within a couple of inches, usually up to the top of top of this um, eave here. And usually that pile starts at the back of the wood boiler boiler it would go over to about the end of the trailer and then typically and hopefully i've got a picture i can share with you in this video typically that would come that wood would come all the way out to right here right at the edge of that cement and then fill in all of this back here up and to include about half of that trailer so typically about 25 pickup loads so if we would have got that started on fire it would have been a complete disaster and we'd probably be redoing some siding on this house if not rebuilding the house and my nice shop right there she might have had some uh, some war marks as well so the obvious question probably one that i asked a hundred times as well is what the hell happened so here's what i think happened the last six years this will be the seventh burning season for this wood burner i've always had a, uh, a chimney on there for some extra draft get it up get a little up a little bit farther um and so this year um that rotted off so i didn't replace that and so my my chimney is fairly short right now um short as it's been in in six years so i need to get an extension the next thing that i think that had happened last night before i uh, headed out down to the pub, also known as going to the dump, two in the same some days. Um, I loaded that thing full. Water temp got a little bit cold on me uh, over the through this cold spell, so I was trying to do a little bit of catch up. The other thing that this uh, wood boiler we use, and this I think is where the problem occurred. Sometimes that, that doubles as an incinerator. And so had some t old tax records and stuff that we were getting rid of. And so I just chucked in a handful of those right on top of the, the wood after I packed it full. And my thoughts is, as that thing got really warm, one of those embers came up. We had a wind coming out of the south, and I think one of those embers came off the chimney there and landed on that dry wood pile and started it on fire. So that's what I think happened. Is that what happened? Leave your comments below. Now I'm not sure what the hell to do. So where's my wood gonna go from here on out? You know, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a chimney on this one here. Um, and from there, we will we'll try to decide what uh, 
where the wood pile goes, how do we cover it, and how do we ensure this doesn't happen again. So, just wanted to share that experience with the, with, with you guys out there. And uh, I know I see a lot of stuff on YouTube. I see a lot of stuff out there where um, wood's right next to those boilers. I'm not convinced that I'm not going to still have that, but I'll have some extra precautions in place. So, not sure how many of you have ever uh, tried to put a fire out when it is 17 degrees, cold hoses, um, and windy as hell. But, uh, I'm really fun. Um, my daughter and my wife thought not very much well, so I don't think anybody can take their fingers when they're done. But uh, I think that was their help because, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. Uh, me at the pub for a couple extra hours uh we'd be looking at the same picture here today so be safe out there kids and uh yeah leave in your comments below if you've ever had anything like this happen to you before and uh, maybe what suggestions you have uh, moving forward so this don't happen again Well, I think that's going to wrap this video up here. I um, hope you enjoyed the footage that I got on there. This would be a great time to like, subscribe, and definitely share uh, with folks that you know that have wood boilers, um, just so they know what this experience is like. 